In this tutorial, I am going to discuss a programming question to find maximum consecutive ones if we can flip at most one zero. So let's first understand the problem statement. Given an array which only consists of zeros and ones, we have to write a code to find the maximum number of consecutive ones in an array if we can flip at most one zero. So uh, let's see, uh, let's understand this problem through an example. So if you, this is the input array and in input array, so we can form one sub array of this. If we can flip this zero to one and the size of this sub array is three. So one sub array is this from this position to this position. And now one sub array we can form from this position to this position if we flip this zero to one and the size of this sub array is six so we can form two sub arrays one uh, one whose size is three and another one whose size is six so the maximum number of consecutive ones in this array if we can flip at most one zero is six so our output is six so this is the problem statement and now uh, let's think how we can solve this problem efficiently. One way to solve this problem is by using sliding window technique. And in this tutorial, I am going to discuss this approach. So if you are not familiar with this approach, you will understand them through this example. So the idea here is to maintain a window containing at most k zeros at any point. And also we have to keep track of the maximum consecutive ones found so far so that uh, at the end we return the maximum consecutive ones we found in an array so uh, in a sliding window uh, we maintain a window and in this window uh, we are allowing i mean as per our uh, problem statement we are allowing at most k zeros so we can flip at most one uh, uh, one zero so the value of k is one so uh, we need two pointer here uh, so s represent the start pointer and e represent the end pointer so what we do is we keep start pointer uh, we i mean the start pointer points at zeroth index initially both the pointer points at zeroth index so we keep a start pointer at this index and we move end pointer till it satisfy uh, our conditions so uh, I mean we allow maximum k zeros in our window so let's dry run this code and uh, see how this code is working so here i have declared few variables one is maximum consecutive one its initial value is zero so it keeps track of maximum consecutive ones we have found so far another is start variable so it's the start pointer which initially point at zeroth index then the maximum number of zeros allowed or you can say we can flip at most one zero so the value of k is one here and the zero count so the number of zeros we have found uh, so that we can i mean we can adjust our window accordingly so let's traverse an array so we can keep the start pointer here and we move the end pointer so at this index so the array end the value is one so this condition is skipped so when we found zero then we have to increment uh, zero count so the value at this index is one so this condition is skipped so is zero count is greater than k so the value of zero count is zero and the value of k is one so this condition is also skipped so now this pointer and pointer move at this index and again uh, so before moving at this index let's see uh, this uh, statement as well so the value of maximum consecutive one is initially zero and now the end the value of end index is zero start is also zero plus one so the maximum consecutive one we have found so far is one now the end pointer move at this index again the uh, these conditions are skipped and the value of maximum consecutive one is one the value of end is one start is zero and plus one so the current value of maximum consecutive one is two 
now the pointer moves here so see this this condition is satisfied and this value of zero count as one but is zero count is greater than one the value of zero count is one and the value of k is also one so this condition is a skip and the maximum value of maximum consecutive one is three so n moves here so one window is this now again the end goes here and this time the value of zero count as two and see these conditions so zero count is greater than k yes so now in our window we allow at most one zero so the reason being we can flip this zero to one to count the maximum consecutive ones so one window is this now again we found zero so what we do is we have to i mean reset the window so that it contains at most one zero so here what we are doing is we are checking array start equal to equal to zero so the value at this index start points at this index one so no and we increment the start pointers so we have to evict one zero from this window that's why this condition is here then we move at this point and again its uh, value at this index is not zero so uh, we increment the start index so now it points at this index and so see uh, the value so the maximum consecutive one the value of maximum consecutive one is not changed so at is it uh, so it is already three and if you do the this operation and minus start plus one so it's not greater than three so its value remains unchanged so at this index the value is zero so what we do is we decrement the value of zero count now its value is one and we increment the this start index so now the start and end both point at this index and the value of zero count is also one so maximum consecutive one the value of maximum consecutive one remain unchanged three and we came out of this loop then again so start points here and end points here so and the zero count is not greater than uh, k so we won't go in this condition and we keep incrementing the end pointer so from this point to this point to this point and this point and we also keep track of maximum consecutive ones so when we reach at this index so end point at this index start point at this index so you can see the maximum consecutive we found here is six so this is the maximum consecutive ones we found if we flip at most one zero from this point to this point and the time complexity of this approach is o n and its space complexity is o one so this is how we can solve this problem using sliding window approach and let's see the main method so in my method i have declared an array and i am calling this method i have not passed the value of k as uh, the k is fixed we can i mean flip at most one zero and that's it for this uh, tutorial uh, for more such programming video you can subscribe our youtube channel you can visit our website which is https colon slash slash thanks for watching this video